My name is Maria Papayuanu Duick. I'm the owner of the eSig Flavorium, www.eSigFlav.com. We have one location in Bowmanville and we have one location in Port Hope. We first opened the eSig Flavorium in 2013. We sell vapor products to adult smokers and former smokers to help them stop smoking. We found out about the digital transformation grants from our local BIAs and um, here in Port Hope specifically, we heard it from our tourism department and they were talking about it. Our biggest motivation around the grant was I'm getting paid to learn about something that I don't know much about and it's going to help my business and I can't say how much it has helped, especially in a COVID world. Some of the areas that we did use to spend our money were specifically web-based. So one of the things was using Photoshop and bringing that program in, finding a web host that for a long-term use would not be as expensive. So we were able to take that money and find other better hosting sites. Another thing that we actually use the money for is going cloud-based when it came to Office. And it's actually been really, really helpful tool because we're able to share documents because we have multiple locations. This last year, we really put an effort in because of the, honestly, the, because the digital Main, Main Street kicked our butt and we were accountable to something. Like, I mean, honestly, we were accountable to a piece of paper and it's so true when you write it down, your accountability changes. Those videos give you two years of education in 10 and a half hours. And not only that, you've got a squad member most of the times to help you walk it through it. And trust me, it feels good to challenge your squad member. Where you're starting to get into the nitty gritty and you wanna understand a little bit more, your squad member works harder with you. But we had our website up. We launched it probably a month before COVID. And as we heard COVID was happening, we started to quickly shift our business. We did a chat feature that we were able to help people. We started sending emails. We ended up delivering. We became a shipping facility. However, I don't think it would have been as impactful to our business and to us as people to realize the importance of everything and realize the value of a digital space if we did it any other time than if we, when we did it in COVID. You might think you don't need that $2,500. You don't know what will inspire you, what idea will pop in your head because of the words that are said during that training. My business is on Digital Main Street.